innovators. We speak to the co-founder about where he's spotting the best talent and what he thinks could be the next breakout space startup. In recent years, we've seen the first real commercial space startups develop. SpaceX, Blue Origin, Virgin Galactic. What do they all have in common? Billionaire founders. Apparently, it is really hard to start an aerospace company without a lot of capital. Starburst Accelerator is trying to help. It is the world's first aerospace accelerator, providing innovators across space, aviation, and defense industries with seed money and big-name mentors. It was originally founded in Paris, but now has a U.S. presence in L.A. Co-founder Francois Chopard joins me now in the studio with more. So why did you start this accelerator? What kind of support do aerospace startups really need, aside from a lot of cash? Yeah, of course. So <laughs> I'm a, an engineer by background. I started my career at Airbus. I had the opportunity to work for a, a U.S. Air Force research labs. So I'm a, I'm a passionate about uh, aerospace. And then I, I've been doing consulting for these last corporations on innovations um, since the, the past 20 years. So, you know, you're in Paris, L.A., Munich, Singapore. Uh, why these places? Because, um, first of all, we, we wanted to be global for, the, for, the, for our startups. Our, our startups, um, they need to, to to be connected to uh, all these large corporations to develop their business as fast as possible. And these four locations were, for us, the major hub, uh, combining aerospace talents, uh, corporate aerospace, but also VC, monies, and entrepreneur. And we wanted to be uh, at these odd, odd locations where these startups can, can meet and, and collaborate with these large corporations. Where does space talent cluster? I mean, where, where do you find, where do, where do you so, find these people, or it's a, it's are they coming to you? It's a combination of uh, you know the, the, these top university, whether they are in the LA area, whether it's Stanford, MIT, mm -hmm. the same in Europe or uh, or in Asia, and uh, and and these uh, people, these engineers, these PhDs, they want to uh, do something different. They don't want to um, uh, work for these large corporations anymore. They want to make a difference. They want more autonomy. They they want to be more empowered, and yeah, they, they want to put their name in the history like uh, Elon Musk did right. with SpaceX. So what are these companies working on? Because you know. No, it's not just trying to build rockets like Musk and Bezos and Branson. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a good point. There's so many different subjects and, and there's so many uh, startups working on, on different subjects. We are working work right now with more than 300 of them uh, across the globe. And um, out of the different um, area, we can name, uh, you know, um, electric car but with a, a vertical takeoff and landing capabilities. Uh, we are talking of, uh, uh, and there's probably 20 startups working on that area. Uh, there's a lot of them who want to work on uh, satellite constellation, whether it's uh, to do more observations and new type of service or communications. And then inside the, the, the aircraft, there's a, a lot of things going on in the cabin, for example, with more connectivity. Startups who want to do mm -hmm. light seats, comfortable seats, and then the, the, the big data of the, the aircraft. There's more and more sensors, and the, the, we, 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 we want to operate uh, aircraft that are um, uh, smarter uh, and, right. and more efficient. Now, a lot of people think of SpaceX uh, you know, as the only space startup. There's also Sierra Nevada, which is a company that yes. we've had on this show. Um, but you think we're going to see a lot more space and aerospace startups on the main stage. When and why? So definitely, uh, behind SpaceX, it's the tip of the iceberg, and by uh, what he was able to demonstrate with a, a proper business model, some good valuations, um, he showed the way to many more of them. So now, with that, there's more and more VC money who want to uh, enter in, in that segment. There's more and more entrepreneurs who want to be successful and, and, and develop their own products. So behind that, yeah, well, there's three uh, to, to 400 mature startups with strong technology, world-class product that are coming into the market so maybe not all of them will succeed but at least the landscape in, in 10 to 15 years mm -hmm. will be completely different and Elon is, is helping out yeah, right? of, of course, by, by <laughs> what he's doing, what, what he's done with uh, Hyperloop and, and, and so many others. He announced that he wants to uh, uh, launch a, um, uh, a flying car, an uh, electrical one. Um, so yes, by, uh, by showing the way, of course, he's helping a lot. All right. Francois Chopard, thank you so much. Uh, it's really interesting to hear uh, what you guys are working on. Thank you so much for thank joining us. The Starburst Accelerator.